everyone, Ariel with Ariel Paints. Welcome to my channel. Today is going to be another part of the series of the basic designs that I have on my board when I am doing on-the-job festivals and pay-per-face events. This is Among Us. Very often I will just do a cheek design, sometimes I'll do it a little bit more full face. I'm going to show you two different ways to paint them, and then at the top of the forehead I really just started to play around and created this on the spot. So come along the journey with me and let me show you how I paint Among Us on the job. I'm going to start with the Big Drop Petal Brush and a cake that has some light blue and cream and white to do the mask and get this loaded up. So Among Us is just a really popular, consistent design for me. Uh, the kids really, really like it. Um, even the kids that don't play the game, and I do ask all the kids, because I have I noticed early on that the kids uh, that were getting this didn't even know what it was, so now I've made it a habit of asking, oh, do you play Among Us? And like 99% of the kids go, no. They just know the imagery and they like it. So it's kind of interesting, even if they're not super involved in playing video games, kids really like Among Us and it's girls and boys. So it's a really, really good design to have. So I'm gonna show you uh, first the cheek version and then what I would do for a more full face design. So starting on the cheek, uh, also, a little tip here, I made this mistake so much when I first started face painting forever ago, is I would do a cheek design and I would do it over here on like the bigger part of a kid's cheek. And then I'd go and show them and they look in the mirror and they couldn't see it, right? They're looking right here and they'd be like going like this trying to see the side of their cheek. So whenever you're doing a cheek design, remember, keep it here. You do have a little less room to work with, but if you put it all the way over here by their ear, they can't see it. So cheek designs go on the front of the face, even if you don't have a ton of room. So try to remember that. So I'm gonna start with the mask. And you just wanna make like a little oval. And you can do this in white, in blue, we're going to add kind of like a crisp white highlight to it. Um, sometimes I'll use a white and black one stroke and I will do this and just outline it with the black in the black and white one stroke, especially if I'm in a hurry. Um, I do always ask the kids what color do you want your Among Us character to be. You know, they I think blue and red are probably the most popular. And then at one point, kids started asking me for a rainbow one. I don't think a rainbow one exists in the world of the game, which I have played with my daughter a long time ago. She was into it. Uh, but kids started asking for a rainbow one. Super cute. And of course, love rainbows, so said yes. Uh, so let's do a rainbow one. I'm going to get a three-quarter inch brush. This one is the Face Painting Shop Angled Brush and get that loaded up with a rainbow. Okay, so I'm gonna start at the top of our mask, and this works with any one stroke, and I'm gonna pull down, and then I typically, I've got a little too much water on my brush, uh, typically will then go to the front and do the first leg, try to make it a little bit smaller, and then the second leg, and I uh, kind of uh, attach it to the back part of the body. Uh, so just connect it. And then I'll usually, with the heel, connect this color here. And then I go back to having the outside color, which if you can make it the darkest color, do it. And then I just create what I call the backpack. I find it easier to do one loop first and then I spin my brush and do the other loop and then just connect it with the toe. So that is the typical Among Us shape, uh, no matter what color one stroke you are using. And you can see some of it still goes to the outside of the cheek because you have to, um, but for the most part, if a kid is looking in the mirror, they're going to be able to see the Among Us character. Okay, so once I get that base down, which is pretty fast, 
then we can do an outline. Um, if you use the right one strokes, you do not have to outline this, but typically I find it always looks better if you can't outline it. So let me get some black loaded. All right, so we are going to go around the little mask and you can think of it as an oval and then right around the body and right around the backpack and it really does help define it and let's grab some white to highlight it the other fun part of Among Us is that kids will ask you for a sus, which is suspicious, S-U-S, uh, a sus one, and you can say, do you just want me to write sus at the top, which I usually do in black, or, you know, underneath, depending on where you have room, and they will often just go, yeah, write sus, you know? It means that they're the Among Us character that is killing everybody. Um, and it's kind of like a mystery game. You have to figure out the suspicious among us. Okay, so for the mask part, I'm doing like a huge highlight, like a big drop. And then I'll just do like a little here. Um, but the other fun thing is if you look up the images of the Among Us characters, uh, they have like different hats, they might be holding a knife. So I've painted a little knife here uh, on the, like that they're holding. Um, I've done a top hat, I've done a ball cap. At Christmas time, I do a Santa hat on them. There's an Among Us character that has an egg on its head, like a cracked egg. I have no idea why, um, but if you have time, it's really fun to add those little details because the kids think it's super cute. And this goes pretty fast, so adding that stuff is not that hard. Um, now, they don't really have hands, but sometimes what I'll do, if they want a knife, I'll kind of make a little bump. So, like, I'll do... Like that like there's a little hand coming out and then I'll put the knife in that hand otherwise the knife can just be kind of like floating right there but I don't know it doesn't really look like anything to me so here let's try to do a knife um, I'm gonna need my other little mirror to do this so just do like a flat edge and a little round edge And then grab some brown. You could do black too. I usually don't ever make the knife that like detailed or that great. And the kids don't seem to mind that much. As long as it kinda kinda looks like it, you know? Um, I would though try to outline it a little bit so that it pops. So let me do that. All right, so there's our Among Us character holding a little knife. Kind of creepy, but uh, <laughs> the kids get really excited about it. Um, I find the egg is pretty easy to do as well. Uh, just grab the brush you used to do the highlights. And then just think of it as like an over easy egg. Just make a couple little like bumps. And then do the yolk in an orangey yellow. And then for the lining of this, uh, so I used a pointed round from the face painting shop for the outline of the Among Us character and the knife. One of the reasons I love this brush is you can get the thicker cartoony outline, which you need when you're doing the Among Us character, but since it goes into that pointed 
uh, round, it goes so thin that I can use the same liner brush when I'm doing really, really detailed liner work like I'm gonna do with this egg. So I'm just gonna go right around the outside of it. It's a little hard to not do an outline with the Among Us design. Um, just the nature of the design, the fact that it's a video game and it's a little bit more cartoony. This is one of the only designs in my entire arsenal that I outline. And it's not that I can't outline, I just try to do as little outlining as possible on the job because it's not quick. You know, there's nothing about it that's fast. So most of my designs over the years have morphed into how can I do this design without outlining it? That being said, this is such a fast design that it doesn't really bother me to do the outline because it tends to not take up too much of my time. Very often I am just doing this on an arm or on a cheek quickly and then I'm done. So I can do them pretty quickly. Uh, and have continued to keep it on my my list of designs because of that. So once I do that, I usually will um, add some glitter and just take it up around the eye or depending on if the kid does not like glitter, I will take my star blends. So in this case, I'm going to grab my blue and purple star blends and load up a smoothie blender. These are the disposable ones, but I do reuse them. And on one side, I am going to do purple. On the other side, I'm going to do this brilliant, beautiful blue. And then I'm going to take one of my favorite stencils, 1206. Uh, so this is just a brilliant stencil, and I use it for everything. So I'm going to start big with the bigger dots closer. Uh, let's see. Let's start with blue and I'm going to, in a triangle shape, just add some texture about halfway through. I'm gonna to switch to the purple and just let it kind of cascade out. So there's a really quick and easy way to do Among Us on the job. You can also just do a one stroke. You could do a star stencil. There's lots of different ways you can finish this off to make it a little bit more than just a cheek design. But I think as just a cheek design, it's pretty effective just the way it is. So it's kind of up to you how much time you have and what the kids want to do. Okay, so you can also do Among Us on the forehead as well and kind of cut off the bottom half and just do the top half. You could also do this as more of a full face and do a larger Among Us here and do a smaller one at the bottom and kind of connect it all with a one stroke and with stencils. So you can make this a really quick small design or a bigger full face design depending on what kind of event you're doing and depending on how much time you have. So I'm going to show you another version of how I, I've done Among Us and how I still do it in the past. I switch things up all the time because I get bored. So I'm going to take a black and white one stroke and I'm going to load mainly the white onto a three quarter inch brush just picking up a little bit of the black cake. Okay, so I've got my brush loaded and I'm envisioning that I'm going to have most of my among Us character kind of here. I don't really want it like flat in the middle of the forehead. I want it just like the tiniest bit off center so that it's more like coming off of this eyebrow. So I'm envisioning the mask, which is this part to be like right here. So I'm going to place my one stroke down and I'm just gonna do a loop keeping the black on the outside and then I'm going to just pull the heel of the brush around to create the rest of the mask. And then I'm going to finish it off with the toe. So this is what I typically do if I'm in like a crazy hurry or I have a crazy line and I don't want to do as much outlining. So then I'm going to pick a one stroke that has a black outline for the body. So I'm going to do this custom cake that I made with turquoise and that has the black edge and get another three quarter inch brush loaded up with this cake. 
All right, so similar concept. We just have really dark edge on our cake this time. We are gonna start at the top and just pull around and go right down to the brow. And I'm gonna have room for a little bit of the front foot. I'm gonna drag that heel over and then just a little bit of an additional foot. It's gonna be kind of an illusion, but it's really just going right towards the brow. So I'm just gonna drag the toe down here. And I wanna make that just like a tiny bit bigger. And then pull the toe up, pull the toe over, and that is what it's going to create most of my outline. So I don't really have to go back and outline this unless I really, really want to. In this case, I have time and I do think that if you have the time to add a little bit of an additional outline, it always helps. But if I was in a real time crunch and I was looking at a line of like 50 kids, I would not be going back and outlining anything or adding like extra stuff. So you can see it It helps, but I don't think it's like 100% necessary. I think you could get away with just not doing it if you wanted to. So it all depends on time. Um, I find that the kids don't typically ask me to add extra stuff. I've had kids ask me to add the knife or just the word sus more than anything, which would be like a brilliant stencil. If somebody would make like a sus stencil and like bubble letters, that would be great. Would you let me know if somebody does that? <laughs> Send me one, please. Um, but really, I'll just like write sus. I don't do anything fancy. You can write it in um, like a one stroke and make it like bubble letters and make it kind of cool up on the top. Maybe we'll do that for fun here in a second. Um, but I try to keep it pretty simple because it's supposed to be like a fast, quick design. And kids don't typically ask me to add a lot of extras to the Among Us character. Uh, typically, I offer. If I have the time, I will say, do you want it to have a top hat? Do you want it to have a cracked egg? There's an image of one with a toilet paper roll on its head. I have no idea why, um, but there is. So if we get into the conversation and there's time, usually they're always gonna be like, yeah, put a ball cap on it or, you know, do something. But I find typically they're not like pushing me to do it. Okay, so a few highlights. Um, and then let's go ahead and write sus over here uh, in like bubble letters and see how that looks. That sounds fun, doesn't it? All right, so I'm gonna do it in, I think the hot pinks and the oranges because this is cool tone. So I want it to pop out a little bit. I'm gonna use a half inch flat and we're gonna think of this as like graffiti writing. So get that loaded up. And then I'm just gonna do I'm gonna go flat on this side and then bigger on that side and then the other S is gonna be like a little bit behind him and then we'll outline it. I mean, I always love graffiti style anything, so this is fun. Okay, so let's grab our liner brush. Here, I'm gonna have to look into my little mirror to do this because my eyesight's not that good to look into the camera lens and do this. So bear with me here. All right, that is very shaky bubble letters so forget I definitely wish I had a model to do this on because I 
doing that like across my body because obviously like I'm like this right so my hands like this trying to do it on this side of my face so it's super shaky um, but just ignore that all right so I think in order to make this look super graffiti ish let's do some of this behind it and then I think I have like a paint splatter stencil which would be really cool to do up there too let me see if I can find it all right so here's my paint splatter that's kind of cool Just gives it a little bit of that like cool graffiti look. Now I have star blends all over my nose. All right, so this also has the little bricks on it, which are super good for the illusion of having that uh, like spray paint graffiti look. So let's add a few of those too. And let's just turn this into a full face design. It's pretty cute. If my uh, bubble letters were better, so just forgive me for that. Uh, I really need more models so that I don't have to do this on myself, but I know you guys know that it's hard to paint on yourself, so I actually don't get too self-conscious about it. Um, anyone who's a face painter realizes that uh, it's different painting on yourself than it is having a model. Um, I'm just going to have this come to the other side too so that it doesn't look like it stops here and then it goes uh, fully over. I really like the forehead design. I think it's cool. I'm going to start uh, doing that more on the job. This is the one I do the most on the job. Also depends on kids faces you know some kids sit in your chair and they have like such little forehead to work with in that case you have to go on the cheek but if they have a decent sized forehead I think it's really cool to do it like this so I think I can get like a little ball cap or a beanie on this guy which is one of the accessories that uh, tend to be on the Among Us characters if you're not familiar with Among Us just do like a Google search and take a look. Um, you don't have to be that well versed in a lot of these things to paint them on kids. And like I said, most of the kids don't even play the game. They just know the imagery. So let's do like a little beanie on this guy and let's do it in red. And we're just gonna line out the top and around out the bottom and just do some little lines tiny bit of texture and there we go he's got a little beanie on you can add a touch of highlight there we go there's some options for among us it's really fun once you get the hang of it it's so easy to paint and the kids really love it so I hope you guys liked this video. Please like and subscribe and comment. Let me know what you'd like to see next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.